All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another how to style video, but this is a little bit different than my other ones because for the first time I'm doing it on kind of like a more athletic shoe compared to like my other videos where I did like Jordans or Air Force Ones, stuff like that, which are more streetwear-esque. But today we are talking obviously about the Air Max 270 React. And the specific one I have right here is kind of a special edition one that I found on Nike's website. Um, it's called the American Modern Art Edition. Now obviously it's not like super special edition where it's like sold out and like super popular, but I just thought it was a really unique colorway. And also it was on sale so I could save a couple bucks. But just personally, I just think this colorway is something that I haven't really had in the past. And I've never had an Air Max before and I've always wanted one. And since it was on sale, like I said, I knew I had to just pick it up. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to style these. And I'm going to be giving you guys three different outfits. In my past videos where I do how to styles, I kind of like talk about it. And then at the end I do the like outfits with just like music over it. But I've taken some feedback. And for this video, I'm gonna try and have the outfit videos throughout the video. So as I talk about it, I'm gonna have like talk about a video, talk about a video. And then because people wanted me to kind of go over what I'm wearing in the outfits. So that just makes it easier for you. So you don't have to just ask me in the comments what I'm wearing, I can just tell you. With all these three outfits, we're gonna break it down to shirts, pants, and then accessories. But for the first part, we're gonna be talking about pants when styling Air Max 270 Reacts. Since these shoes are kind of on the more athletic side, I tried to figure out if you could wear jeans with them and it just didn't look that good in my opinion. So there are a couple of different pants that I suggest that you're gonna see throughout the video. The first pair of pants that I would recommend wearing is kind of like some athletic sweats from like Nike or something. Obviously you kind of want to match the brand of your sweats to your shoes. You don't want to be mixing different brands. And so you'll see that I'm going to be wearing some Nike sweats. And then the other pair of pants you could wear with these that I found work are some baggy cargo pants. I feel like one of the issues with wearing jeans is that they're too tight. And when you try and wear baggier ones, it just doesn't, doesn't go with the athletic look. But when you wear cargo pants and like they're baggy and you roll them up, then I think it looks amazing. And then the third thing that I think is pretty obvious, which goes with most things, are some pairs of shorts. I only wear like black and khaki color shorts, but with one of the outfits, I'm gonna be wearing some black shorts. So those are the three, type of pant three types of pants that I would suggest wearing. Some athletic sweats, some cargo, some baggy cargo pants, and then some shorts of whatever style you want. I prefer the shorts on the shorter side where it's like pretty high above the knee just because that's my particular style. And then you pair that with like an oversized shirt. But that kind of segues into section two, which is what shirts you should wear. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that when it comes to shirts, I'm pretty much the same with all my different styling videos because I just like to wear a lot of oversized shirts. So with these three outfits, you're gonna be seeing that the three shirts I am wearing are big oversized shirts. And because these shoes are more on like the lighter color side and are a little bit more colorful than something I'm used to wearing, even though there's only like a couple of colors, you're gonna see that the shirts I'm wearing are pretty colorful, I would say. But that's kind of all I have to say about shirts is just wear something that is oversized, vintage, because if you've watched my channel before, then you know that that's pretty much my style. My overall style is vintage streetwear. All right, but we talked about shirts and pants and the final quick section is on accessories. So this is pretty much the same as all my other videos where I've talked about accessories. I just like to reiterate it to people that haven't heard me talk about it before but you really just have to go pretty simple on accessories. You don't have to like get a ton of things like a million chains and rings and stuff like that. I keep it pretty simple. I wear like one simple chain like this or I have a couple like cross ones or a little bit thicker of a chain, but just like silver, you don't have to get too crazy. And then as for rings, I currently have two rings right now and I wanna get more for this hand just to kind of like even it out. 
but you don't have to go crazy on rings or get like crazy like little designs or whatever just some simple rings and then i wear some bracelets on this arm right here these bracelets all like each of them like have some specific meaning to them um, because they're either from like my girlfriend or from my mom and so i think that just adds to your outfit when you are wearing something like an accessory that has some meaning behind it it's not some just like some cheap piece of jewelry and then when it comes to watches, I just wear an Apple watch, but you could honestly wear like whatever watch you want. If you're going with the vintage look, I'm sure you could find some vintage watches out there, but I just like my Apple watch because it pairs with my phone. And so I pretty much just wear that every day. But yeah, super quick on the accessories. There's not that much. And if you want to know where I get my accessories, I just got them off like Amazon or Etsy. You could find some pretty cheap options on either of those sites that are still like really good quality or, and that are going to last. But enough about that, we're gonna jump into the three different outfits. I'm gonna talk about them, just go over what I'm wearing and how everything pairs together. But let's just jump into the first outfit. So jumping in to outfit number one, this is the one I talked about where it was on the more athletic side because these shoes are kind of athletic, even though I don't use them or I'm not planning on using them to actually like run or do anything like that. But for the shirt, you're gonna see that I'm wearing a vintage Nike shirt that I thrifted a little while back that you might have seen in my thrift haul video from not that long ago. And then I pair it with these Nike sweats that I've had for quite some time. I just like have never worn them because I just didn't think I had the right shoes for it. But now I think they look really good in these shoes. And obviously I'm pairing them with the shoes that this video is on. But overall, I just think this whole outfit meshes really well together. Obviously, it's it might be a little overboard on the Nike because literally every single thing is Nike, including my socks. But I think it's not too out there on the whole like Nike stuff. And if you're wondering where I got the sweats, I honestly don't remember where I got them. It was a long time ago, but I'm sure you could find them or something similar on like Nike's website or on Amazon or something. But jumping in to outfit number two, this is the outfit where I talked about cargo pants. So as you could see, I'm just wearing some plain cargo pants and the colorfulness of the shirt kind of offsets the plainness of the pants and really ties in to the shoes really well. I think the colors go really well together just on the lighter side, the brighter side compared to stuff that I've worn in the past that's been like just dark and moody, I would say. And the shirt I also thrifted a while back, you will have seen that in my thrift haul video that I uploaded a little bit ago. And then the pants are something that I thrifted as well. And I'm just wearing the same exact accessories as before. But jumping in to the final outfit, this is the outfit that I talked about where I wear shorts. So you can see I'm just wearing the plain black shorts. These shorts are from Tilly's. They're like the Tilly's like brand, whatever it's called. I just like these shorts because they last a while and they're like really good size, like high above the knee for a pretty cheap price. They're like a little bit over $20. And then the shirt I'm wearing is a vintage Hard Rock Cafe shirt that I also picked up in my thrift haul video. If you've seen that, as you can tell, I'm kind of hinting to go watch that video. you see all the stuff I've gotten uh, while thrifting. The reason I'm wearing this shirt that's like this color is because since the pants are, or the shorts are dark and black, I like to kind of offset and contrast that by wearing it with a shirt on the brighter side that's white to match the shoes. And then obviously, as I said before, same accessories as the last two outfits. But that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this format of video kind of different than my past videos if you've seen my past videos. If you did enjoy, let me know in the comments, drop a like on this video and consider subscribing. I have a lot of videos on how to style different things and I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of videos in the future. I upload every single Saturday at 12. So if you are looking to get more into fashion or vintage streetwear is your thing, then I'm your guy. Stick around, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when I post and I will see you guys in the next video.